Here we go. Here we go. Episode of Ricochet, the Demon Slayer. Ricochet will be slaying demons out of Book of Jonah. In Jesus' mighty name. And talking about how I don't want to be running from God anymore. Just like Jonah did, you know. I'm kind of running from God all the time, you know, because, you know, he, he gives us these ideas and stuff, you know, to do things in, in His mighty name, you know, to, in, to try to make our lives better. And, and, and a lot of us do like Jonah and we run from God, you know. And so that's why I want to read Jonah, you know. Uh, because Jesus is a king, you know, and um, I'm not a legalist, you know, I just kind of care, you know, and I think all of us should care, you know, a little bit um, about all life, you know, and as men, you know, we should we should be concerned with each other a little bit, you know, not too much, you know, not not to where we're coveting and stuff like that, but, you know, we kind of re got to reflect each other, you know, in ways so that we can work together. I mean, that's how Jesus operates, you know, he, he works through us all with each other so how are we supposed to be you know getting better if we're not talking to each other and, and commenting on each other's videos and stuff and so so I, you know ask me some questions that's cool I don't I don't mind you know I like questions man you know I can't really you know share my gift you know that God gave me if I don't if I don't hey I don't have to talk to anybody you know so I you know, appreciate the uh, you guys hearing me it's just pretty neat, man, to be able to, you know, talk to you guys, you know, all at once, you know, and just be like, hey, what's happening, you know, I like, I like this, man, this is really cool, I hope I get a little bit more comfortable, you know, with it. So, you know, if you really love Jesus, it's, you know, it's going to show in your life, you know, and then, and, uh, you know, you're probably, a lot of, like me, a lot of us are really, you know, kind of tripped out by religion, you know, and, and, and all the, uh, you know, the stuff in the past, you know, that other churches did or other people did, you know, that kind of, you know, puts uh, superstitions and stuff in our mind and stuff, you know, and, um, but without Jesus between us, you know, because like, like, you know what you guys call like the ethernet or whatever and all that stuff on YouTube, like that's, that is Jesus, you know, he, you know, he's so natural and, and so wonderful, you know, and he, and at the same time, you know, he's in between us and he's helping us and that's how. You know it works you know if, you know you guys you, when you're doing like witchcraft and, and all that dumb stuff you guys do you know you're really kind of just uh stepping on god's toes a little bit you know and, and i'm you know i imagine he's probably like laughing about it though you know because like you know he created the universe you know what i mean so anything we do you know is always going to be you know not not a very big deal you know and you know you guys do those things and you, you see it working in, in ways but you don't even understand it right and now I'm sitting here right here with the Bible telling you that, that Christ talked about all this stuff. And so, you know, it would probably, you know, behoove all of us, you know, if we could just kind of be a little bit more considerate, you know, of others, you know. So that's really why I'm doing this, you guys, you know. It's not like all about me trying to blow my own horn or toot my own horn, you know. I do need to, you know, get more comfortable with the camera and, and being on stage and stuff like that because that's where I'm going to take my career next, you know. And... You know, who knows, maybe I'll just be washing dishes backstage somewhere, but you never know, you know, you got to get started somewhere, right? In Jesus' name, yeah, I feel like, you know, I can, sh you know, you can see it on the video, you'll see how this goes, you know, how the thing with Jesus works, you know, he just gets into your life, you know, and he really does help you, you know. Anyway, and don't have any doubt, if you have doubt, you know, you're, you're basically blaspheming, if you doubt Jesus, then... You're just blaspheming, man. You know, you guys are going to get through all your YouTube stuff and all your other Bibles and all that stuff. And you come all the way back around to Jesus. And then, you know, 
I'm not gonna say I told you so. I don't think I'm gonna try not to to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to trying to help out. You know. So, um, cause God, he, you know, He doesn't, you know, divide and conquer. He He just conquers. Then He multiplies. Then He divides. You know, He doesn't ever subtract. You know, He just always adds and, and makes it better. You know. So, in the church, you know, it's in it's inside all of us, you guys. So if we're not getting involved, then you know it's really not going to help us out. You know, and I, I know I got a, a lot of things in my life that I need help with to try to work through. You know, and without illustrations and, and stuff like that, and just you know talking about stuff, it's it's tough. So you know, you do the math, man. You'll see. You do, you read the Bible, and if you do mental math, then you'll see it kind of clicking. You know what I'm saying? And and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, Jesus is like the, the ultimate do-it-yourself kit. I promise you, man. You know, it's he's like fertilizer for your brain, for real. It, it just helps out a lot, you know. And it, so, just thought I'd share that with you guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys listening. Let me play some more music after I read Jonah. So, now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And they said, Every one to his fellow, Come, and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation? And whence comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not, for the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord, and made vows. 
Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice, for thou hast cast me into deep in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption? O oh Lord my God! When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy, but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey and he cried and said yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown so the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them for word came unto the king of Nineveh and he rose from his throne and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes and he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them and he did it not. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly and he was angry, very angry, and he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God, and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then said the Lord, Doest thou well to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and there made him a booth and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a gourd and made it to come up over Jonah that it might be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceeding glad of the gore. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass, when the sun did arise, that God prepared a vehement east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah, that he fainted and washed, wished in himself to die. 
excuse me, and said, it is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, doest thou well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored, neither madest it grow, which came up in a night, and perished in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle. Yeah, I've always loved that that book, you guys, man. It really does help me out a lot, too, when I feel like I'm running from God, you know, because he wants us to really preach his word and stuff like that, you know, and really get it out there, you know, and it's really hard in this world, you know, and so I'm just like trying to worry, trying to not be worried about being judged and all that stuff and getting over it, you know. But it's nothing personal with anybody, man. I love all you guys, man. I want to work with everybody and stuff and, 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 and do good stuff in Jesus' name. Yep. So now I got a song I was going to play. I'm going to do this right here. Oops. Savior still our 